ladies and gentlemen, Judgment of Delight Deluxe Edition. Holy shit. You having fun over there? Absolutely not. He's currently under the bed trying to get his cables that I shoved in there while I was cleaning the room. Yeah, this is your goddamn fault. Hell yeah, brother. You go. <laughs> oh my god, you girl, girl. <laughs> All right. Judgment of the Light Deluxe Edition. I haven't seen these in a long ass time. This is rare to find. Uh, this has nine packs and uh, some other cool shit. Like promos from the future set, Shadow Specters at that time. Uh, cards I'm hoping to pull from here is Star Eater, whether it's a Ghost Rare, Ultimate Rare, or Secret Rare. The Bougian stuff. Uh, but yeah. I th no, that was Legacy of the Valiant with 101 the Exoton Knight. Um, let's see. I, I loved this set when I was younger. God, I'm 29, no, 28 years old. Wow, I almost forgot my damn age. Can you believe that? I'm talking to you, fool. Oh, uh, well, in that case, yeah, I can believe it. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, so here it is. Here's the box. Um, it comes either with that Utopia monster uh, artwork or the um, spellbook artwork. And I'm hoping I get the spellbook artwork. And, uh, oh, look at that. I got the spellbook artwork. That's a big W right there. Look at that. All the original artwork on these beautiful cards. Prophecy Destroy right there. Uh, Spellbook of Fate. Secrets. Uh, Reaper. Alright, let's see this. Oh yeah, you get these jank sleeves too. I mean, they're good for card protection. Um, then you got, I believe, nine packs. And looks like we got Archfiend Emperor. I believe that's the... I don't know if that's the Shadow Spectre one. And, oh, look, an actual rule book with all the mechanics in it, unlike the two-part starter set. I'm, I'm still going to complain about that. That's still going to be the worst product of the year, by far. Certified booty. Hell yeah. It's a Steam Impala goat shit. Open the promos. Um, I believe... I believe that's the Shadow Spectre one. I could be wrong. Um, uh, Flying Sea would be nice to have as well. Uh, this is more of my territory, though. I'm not used to the newer stuff. Oh, well, there's Flying Sea right there. Let's go. Uh, and Dragon Shield. Um, I guess I'll just use these. I was going to use these by Ultra Pro. Um, but hell, I'll, I'll use these. Uh, Ultra Pro has some really good Eclipse sleeves, too. Um, let's see. I bought this in my local card shop. I like supporting them. I uh, got the three promos right there. Uh, nine packs. Whew. Like I said, I'm hoping to pull any Bougian stuff. Star Eater. I mean, that's a that's a big good chase card right there uh, for this set. Uh, this was actually one of my favorites, too. Nine packs. Jesus. I forgot there were so many. Uh, this is also one of the sets before Breakers of Shadow that do not, does not guarantee a foil when you pull rare. So, uh, Umbreal Horror. Um, Archer. Uh, let's see, Wolf, uh, Trap Tricks, and, oh, wow, okay, uh, there's a foil, uh, number 66, Master Key Beetle, this card was used a lot back then, uh, and, then, oh, this card was also used back then, uh, Fencing Fire Ferret, oh, there, that's one foil so far, oh, I'm gonna pull some of these sleeves out, uh, yep, yeah, nice, uh, Master Key Beetle, um, nice, let's see here, uh, I still remember playing Bougian. I hated them. I wanted to die every single moment I played either with them or against them. Um, I wanted to punch the guy who played them in the forehead. Uh, I'm a very nice guy, as, as you can see. Uh, Ice Princess. Uh, Crane. This card was like the great value Honest. Uh, before Honest went to three. Star Syrup. Sage. Uh, <laughs> Googly eyes don't be surprised. Jump Dragon. I don't, I think I played him like one time. Um, wow, I had him backwards. Alright, next pack. Uh, Vain Betrayer. Uh, Wolf again. Um, DCW. I've never seen this card before. Chimera Clad. Um, no Foil. Uh, Turtle. That card was annoying too. It's like, it's like taking a shit, but you're pushing so hard. That won't come out. That's how annoying that card was. Uh, Vein Betrayer. That was another one right there. Um, Virtual Landing. I, I like to play Mecha Fenobies too. When I first got back into the game, uh, I, my first deck was Mecha Fenobies. 
Well, that was because you can use tokens for link summoning too. And that, that stuff was pretty hilarious. But the execution was uh, flawed. And uh, let's see. No foil on that one. We did pull one so far. 66 Master Key Beetle. All right, next pack. Let's see what we're uh, Calibrator. Uh, oh, yeah, the Fire Fist cards were in here, too. I don't know. I forgot which ones were in here. Uh, virtual Landing. Uh, our rare is the Emperor. Okay. Cool. We got the foil and the rare version of Emperor. So the Flying Sea was the Shadow Spectre one, or unless that was Dragon Shield. I I think it was Dragon Shield. And, uh, oh, okay. We got a Super. Oh, well, that's another foil. Two out of uh, nine so far. Four more packs left of Judgment of Delight. Uh, oh, excuse me, I burped. All right, so we have another Fire Fist card. Uh, a card that no one plays. Uh, Fire Fist is still being played to this day, too, which I, I love it. Uh, oh, Colt Wing. This card finally got attention that it deserves. This card is insane. There you go. Got the fo focus going. I attribute two tokens. Okay, so it banishes a, a card, which is really good. Uh, Masquerade 104. And, oh, holy shit, that's an ultimate. That's really good. That's actually really freaking good. Okay, uh, yeah. I forgot to mention, ultimates are now getting very scarce, and they're becoming very valuable. And I just pulled a C104 Umbreal. It's not the best one, but still an ultimate rare. So, Ayo, Massive W. Would you like to open a pack? Yeah. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, my brother Mike is coming on board. Call him by Nerve Damage. <sighs> this is Nerve Damage, ladies and gentlemen. He is going to open a pack. This is uncensored, by the way, so you can say what the fuck you want. Heart of the cards be with me. Hell yeah. Alright, we've got... Reverse Glasses... Right Intercept here. tomato, the atmosphere, exceeds agent, number 102 star serif sentry, which I think is your rare, but... That is the rare. It is not foil, so fuck out of luck with that. Hell. Umbral no. horror ghoul. What a ghoul. Junk blader. What a blader. I got many jokes about that, but I don't want to say it. Exceeds reception. And we wrap things up with mine with Trap Tricks Nepenthes, which certifies that I am dog shit at pulling cards. Let's, let's go! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was my brother, Nerve Damage. How good is that dick, bitch? <laughs> uh, Curly, oh my god, it's 11 o'clock. Alright, Limit Dragon. Uh, Ice Princess. XC Reversal. Uh, Serp Scout. Uh, oh, okay. Um, Blue Impala. Uh, that's an Ultra Rare. That's actually... Uh, it's not the most expensive, but it's still foil. It's an Ultra Rare. And I also pulled... Uh, where was it? Uh, I, oh, yeah. Mamelio. That's also a really good card. Trapsticks are still being played to this day. Heliard and Googly Eyes. Nice. That, that's still pretty nice. I got that Ultimate Rare. Last pack. Would you like to... Uh, I'm going to come over here for a second. You guys can still hear me. Would you like to uh, pat this for good luck? Hell yeah. Alright. Part of the cards be with you. Ladies and gentlemen, I know this is unprofessional, but I do whatever I want with my channel. He patted it for good luck, so let's see if I can get a Ghost Rare Star Eater. Because that would be amazing. Because, wow. Um, Bougian. Virtual Landing. Uh, sh sort, sh shark. Shark. Can't talk. So, you know, fuck that card. Uh, Shark Caesar, Blue Incarnation, underrated card, and no foil. Sad face. I'm going to die. But for recap, we did pull uh, four foils. We pulled HDS. We pulled Master Key Beetle, uh, Blue Impala, and the Ultimate Rare uh, C104. That is Minip. But she likes this video. Uh, awesome. If not, I'm truly sorry. Uh, but yeah, I'm Jacket Lakari. Goodbye.